So once again, Rajasthan has pulled out its surprise wild card. We crunch 2200 kilometers of Indian tarmac just to get reminded that the thar is not all the same. When I had been disturbing the sleep of my fellow passengers, three intruders had decided to disturb our national security and cross the border from Jaisalmer. Overnight, all the border check posts were on high alert and the manhunt was still in progress. This dude uh, Radcliffe was an enigma. Only if we can successfully complete it. Not very sure if we would be able to reach that far today. Kaya gam? Huh? Aapra gam? Jaipur. Jaipur. Yeah. Aapra main bola na aapko ki munawaon mein mat ja. No traction at all. Offloading is a way of life. The bucket list item man. Okay, let's go. If I don't come back, right to the Pakistan embassy. This is by far one of the best adventure drives. That is what Toyota SUVs are made for. Now, what are the odds of driving through a sensitive spot on Indo-Pak border on such a day? But then, we are also drawn by the randomness and unpredictability of horizon chasing. We like having to respond to new situations. Out here, we do not just have the opportunity for spontaneity. Rather, we are compelled into leaving spontaneously. We often fear this in anticipation. But what can I say? <laughs> Love it in the hindsight. Barmer. This may not be one of the best known and visited places in Rajasthan. But then, it's for a good reason. Or is it? All right, we are walking on the roads of Barmer and Jul. Barmer. Barmer. <laughs> okay, and Jul. It is Barmer. Jul Jul is very hungry, so we are trying to look for. Uh, some breakfast and after that we will be off to our desert drive so there is nothing not much of eateries or place around here it's a very small place so possibly we'll try to find something in the on the highway NH25 oh, Magnus looks so nice like my SUV is dirty feeling hungry feeling hungry is keeping you busy yes really yes why are you so hungry suddenly today? Because today I navigated a lot of body out of my body. Is it? So you shall be prepared for me to become fuss. Fuss? Hmm. Oh. Oh, if you don't eat now, you will become fuss. Yes. After how long? Two hours. After two hours? One or two hours. So Munabao is just two hours from here. So no. do you think? Two hours, 43 minutes, like three hours almost. Oh, three hours almost. Julia will be pushed Navi without any doubt. Navigator knows all the distances <laughs> and time. Because he is the navigator. Oh, oh, it's oh, oh Farina, Farina. Julia, these tanks were in the 1965 war. All right, so here's the deal. This part of the journey marks the onset of our border drive where we are driving through a army cantonment area. Today's plan is to drive alongside all the motorable sections and explore all the possible uh, border towns and villages on this famous or rather infamous Radcliffe Line. So what exactly is the Radcliffe Line? Uh, I am not gonna bore you with the details of the geopolitical history of 1947 uh, which of course you can uh, read up but uh, let me tell you a story about Cyril Radcliffe uh, the man who had never been out of England who was given the task of drawing the borders for the new nations of Pakistan and India that leaves as many Sikhs and Hindus in India and all the Muslims in Pakistan as possible. So Radcliffe was given this deadline of five weeks to complete the job and uh, Radcliffe submitted this uh, partition map on 9th of August 1947 which split apart Punjab and huge parts of Bengal almost in half and the new boundaries were formally announced on uh, 17th August 1947 so it is after two days of independence when the boundaries were kind of formalized and documented. Where are Munabao? Munabao, Munabao. Munabao, 
So as a kid growing up watching JP Dutta's uh, border, the Indo-Pak border has always appealed to me in a way like no other place on the map. I still remember those long conversations with my father wondering what could be the life in such a conflict zone and uh, not to mention the uh, the scorching heat of Jaisalmer. 14 million people roughly 7 million from each side flee across the border when they found that they were left in the wrong country and in this shuttle and uh, shuffle it took a toll of 2 million lives and many millions injured. So just think about the bloodshed that this line has crossed. This dude Radcliffe was an enigma. He later said the time that he had at his disposal was so short that he could not do a better job. I mean just think about it. The question is that why did you sign up for a job when you know that it is not humanly possible? But anyway I digress and our drive is not to find out the answers to a 75 year old uh, blunder but I thought that while we are here a special this place definitely uh, deserves that mention of what happened 75 years before I mean just look at this place so what are you feeling now Pooja? hot and hungry <laughs> <laughs> Jul hey how's the Josh? Less. Huh? Less? Let's go. After fueling, we are like good to go. Okay. Okay. But this kind of place, I don't think we will find any human fuel. Not even vehicle fuel, also. The best that we can do is, you know, make our own food, hunt, go hunt, survive. What is. Do that survival strategies. Let's see if we don't get any option, that's the last option that we have. Not hunting. Not hunting. Why? Let's hunt for some deer. Yeah. Black buck deers are tasty, I've heard. No. no? I have seen somewhere it was written. Kudrat pe rehem karo shakahari bano. What is that? Okay, that's a crow eating. Dead, eating what? dead rat. Junior, we can have that rat. I yeah. don't want to eat it, I want to see it. Jojo. Mm. Finally. Just us in the middle of nowhere. There's, there's nobody. Over there. Huh? Oh, there. There is one camel with us. Hey, boy, come here.
Now I'm not even feeling like going to Monava. I'm feeling like sitting here, setting up the tent and sleep. Mujhe aata to phone hai unhi log phone. Let's let's wrap up. Man, not much of time, I think. It took us. 10 minutes to wrap overall and pack it up again in place so all that it takes is a little bit of stepping out of the comfort zone some good memories to cherish रोड वेटिंग फॉर अ बस और ट्रेकर टू टेक दम आप Which makes me wonder even more that we sitting at our homes in ACs, we complain about life. Think about the soldiers who are, you know, guarding us day and night, even in 55 temperatures in Jaisalmer and minus 20 or minus 30 in Ladakh. All extremes. Yeah. You see this? The international border. runs from this side isn't it so fascinating the simple act of drawing a line on the map can transform the way we see and experience the world and that's what ratliff did kitna dur rasta aisa hai kya ye 1 2 km 1 2 km hai aisa ha acha chalo badhiya the kind of roads they show like driving in middle of the desert the road cutting through and the and the car is like cutting through the desert this place exactly gives you that nevada las vegas kind of feel what we have seen in movies in many english movies and we have our own thar for that so what what else do we need we have all types of terrain that that you get to see a piece in every country and we have all of it here right over here mate beech mein nahi aate please go mate although this go mata like numerous others hindered our pace but after crossing ramsar a man on bike in civilian clothes stopped us Arkesh Karam I was clicking a picture and a man stopped me dropped and he turned back came towards me and asked ye yahan pe kya kar rahe ho main bola ke bas yu hi photo khinch raha hu una bahut ja raha hu bol ke yahan pe photo khinchna mana hai main CID mein hu hum aapko andar leke jayenge aur interrogation mein baithenge aap bol rahe ho una bahu mein nahi ja sakte hain मैं बोला ना आपको कि मुनावाओ में मत जाना ठीक है नहीं जाएंगे मुनावाओ में बोल के मैं और बहस नहीं किया आई जस्ट केम बैक लेट्स गो लेट्स गो एंड फाइंड आउट ओवर देयर वी विल टॉक टू द आर्मी फोर्स फोटोग्राफी इज रेस्ट्रिक्टेड वी विल नॉट फोटोग्राफ दैट प्लेस दैट इज फाइन बट लेट्स हियर इट फ्रॉम अ मैन इन यूनिफॉर्म राधर देन फ्रॉम एनी रैंडम बाइकर ऑन द रोड कमिंग एंड डिक्टेटिंग टर्म्स intrusion from the pakistan side has created a high alert situation once we took the last turn towards the check post 
I found myself staring down the barrel of a gun. We got to know that in regular days, you can visit the railway station, but for visiting the BSF camp, you need to get prior permission. The Jawans wouldn't let us even stop at the check post. So how to make do with the cards that you have been dealt with and still get great results? A monkey sees a tree, a monkey climbs. But what happens when it finds a nearby sand dune? I've never climbed a sand dune. Turn on your 4x4 mode. How's the view up top? Awesome. That's when the senior monkey said, Puja, so we are going to go to Pakistan. If I don't come back, right to the Pakistan embassy. The Indian embassy at Pakistan. I don't know if it's there or not. Go, go, go. Go, go. Go, go. Go, go. <laughs> These journeys can sometimes become very complicated and unpredictable. Just when we think things are going the way we wanted them to, something unpredictable can happen. I'm not able to climb. And change the whole thing. It's an avalanche. Rock climbing. It's slipping. No traction at all. What is this? <sighs> On the other hand, when we don't expect things to happen, we climb, Mama. They magically happen. Everything happens in the right time. Just trust the timing of your life. A crystal sky opens above us. A blue so deep it makes you dizzy. Locational bright white wispy clouds dances across the firmament, punctuating the deep blue vault of heaven stretching over this paradise. The least visited part of Rajasthan, the last western I'm frontier of India. On this but as they say, due to men will be men. And on this side, it's Pakistan. Now this is the closest that you can get to the border. We were happy with this. But God does work in mysterious ways. When we were monkeying around on these dunes, a man in uniform spotted us. He was a bit curious to see Karnataka registered car in this deserted land and asked us a lot of questions about the trip. After using all my oratory skills to explain how far we have traveled, driving all the way from Bangalore to see the border, the BSF senior official perhaps took pity on us and allowed us to visit the border. So we are at the last railway station of the Western Front. Photography is not allowed beyond this point. Now we are heading towards the border and after a lot of permission we have got that. Uh, we won't be able, don't want to also take any photos or videos over there because it's a matter of national uh, safety. But yeah, we will. We are glad that we are getting to experience that place. Finally, we made it to our destination, and thankfully, without all guns blazing, the border was 2.5 kilometers from the railway station. We were taken to a viewing tower near the border from where we could see the border as well as the Pakistan Rangers camp and Khokrapar railway station on the other side. The Indian forces have fenced the entire region. This is illuminated at night, an assuring sign that the borders are safe from any kind of infiltration. There is hardly any difference in the landscape, yet the area is divided into two countries by a line. We were not allowed to click photos or make videos at the border. It is prohibited and can compromise national security. People tend to upload everything on social media these days. As responsible citizens, we are obliged to the rules. However, getting a chance to see the border was enough and satisfying for us. Now this is the closest that you can get to the border. 
आते बीच में नहीं आते All right, now we are driving through, and it's 17. It's quite late right now. It's like five o'clock, and I don't think that we would be able to uh, visit Longewala or the North at this point of time. So, guess we would have to think where we are going. By then, we were driving more closer to the Indo-Pak border. The sand dunes had become even bigger and better. There were more patches of thick sand on the road. more isolation diverting to the army posts on our left the india pakistan border is one of the most heavily militarized borders of the world we learned a lot about various daily routines to protect such a huge stretch of the border every 500 meters interval a jawan is stationed during the day and 250 meters at night india shares 3000 kilometers of international border with pakistan on the western front panning across gujarat rajasthan punjab and jnk out of which 1100 kilometers of border share is with rajasthan fun fact during the night time the india pakistan border is distinctly visible from our outer space due to the 150000 flood lights installed by india on approximately 50000 poles it would have been really interesting sight to watch if permits were available but for now Have you ever meticulously planned a road trip one where you score Google Maps days in advance to ensure you take the most efficient route however on the D day you end up on a longer winding terrain due to some unforeseen glitch but hey you don't regret it because this unexpected path is more exciting it's no secret that anything tiring ends up being more beautiful just like when we left the tar and entered the thar in x70 akada bharat mala pariyojana road head north east on national highway 70 ends and after Continue that you are national highway 70 for 82 kilometers so in x70 next 82 kilometers is it like this And what if if we get stuck, Chizil? We'll dig it out with our shovel. You ready for that? Yeah. I turned it from H2 to H4, which increases more traction. What traction is required here? Yes, because it's became tar to thar. <laughs> tar to thar, tarmac to tharmac. <laughs> oh, Baba, it's, it's losing traction, gaining again. It's it's. Going here and there. Uh, some at times it is losing. We have to just keep on the right power band and let it go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Mm. Yes, yes. You can do it, Magnus. Do it. Yes, yes. Some more. Don't lose. Don't get out of the track. Just track. Follow, follow, follow the track. and 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 we are out yes finally okay we are out now again is going to come but this too high will only work Are you sure it's quite less sure too high should will work yeah okay let me try on too high then chul chul you are awesome man It works on too high. The driver is very tense <laughs> about the situation. But the navigator he did a fantastic job. He said no, it will go on this standard management system, and we did it. Thank you, navigator. You're welcome. Now again, we we'll have a piece of tarmac, but it's just a piece, a slice of tarmac. The road. which runs parallel to the border of india and pakistan arctic you seeing lot of deers just roaming around but yes it is looking good as long as it is not dark <laughs> once it gets dark it will get spooky this place will be a different planet altogether if it gets yeah. dark 
it can get dark any time. I mean, just look at this face. It's... Now I get it why the army guys were very concerned when they got to know that we are going through this road. India shares land borders with six countries. Pakistan, Bangladesh, China, Myanmar, Nepal and Bhutan. And now we were driving through one of them. Given a choice, I would happily trade off a holiday in Europe or any damn fancy overseas location over an exploration trip alongside all the border areas of India. This is real desert safari, Yuljul. Thank you very much, Mama, for letting us do it. This is the, the legit desert safari. We took this NH70, which was a beautiful road, the Bharat Mala, the Bharat Mala project. All of a sudden, the Bharat Mala project has abruptly stopped. Abrupt means like totally damn up abrupt. The road goes from Dar to Thar, and it is where we are driving through right now. Nothing around. The road just cuts through the desert with lots of deers, foxes. This is by far one of the best adventure drives that we have ever done. We were not aware that this like this is also an NH and and in this place we will, it will get dark so we are just gunning through this road regardless of all the potholes and everything which is being thrown at us Magnus is taking the hits very gracefully trying to reach where the road conditions become better and we come back to civilization uh, before it gets too dark so that's the goal right now and uh, cattle on road, so I have to keep my eyes peeled. DNP as per locals. This area falls under the vast umbrella of Desert National Park. At this point, we were only able to see the road as far as the headlights traveled. Beyond that, it was a starry sky and many glowing eyes on the road. So Jalen, what do you see now? Now I see just the road. The road. Bushes on the sides. Yeah, okay, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, going dark. Paradise stars. I've never seen so many stars at once. It just pops up on the windscreen as soon as I turn off the headlights. Alright, so this finally we are back to civilization. Today's adventure levels just went from zero to outer space. I mean, this was not something which I had planned or even thought of doing. It's like one slice of road with lots of potholes and amidst the desert. Deers all around, fox. I mean, this is actually a desert safari. I think this is the real desert safari, not just going to some sand dunes bashing and stuff like that. Ours is a history of conflict and resolution, of growth and devastation, of battles won and lost in conflicts, not always of our making, just like this journey. Often these contradictory outcomes issue from the same set of historical events of the partition, a phrase synonymous with trauma fueled by the reckless mismanagement of an imperial power. The inhabitants of these borderlands live in the consequences of this history, in the bleeding that never stops. Now let that sink in for a bit. Till then, wish you lots of safe miles on rubber. Budo, I get Budo. Of course I am Budo, but a very young Budo. And I am Javan. Yeah.